Hey everyone, Derek here with something a little bit different for, well, us, because we don't normally do post-commentary. We usually do it live or just discussions or stuff like that. But obviously Andre has Pokemon Go and has recorded some footage. Now he can't commentate over this himself because, well, he has to actually leave the house if we're going to actually check this game out. The thing is, when he tried to record the sound, which we were going to upload it as just a normal video, it only picked up the sounds of him walking. It was like his picked up his camera and didn't pick up the game itself. So we have no audio for the game. So I'm going to do post commentary because, well, he doesn't know how to, he doesn't know anything about Pokemon. I think that's been proven time and time again. Uh, and the other thing is he actually has to get to a dentist appointment. Funny how that works out. Um, so yeah, he, we're just here in San Francisco. I guess roughly where he lives. I don't know the way the streets work in his town, but we can see several Pokestops around him where he can pick up items and stuff like that. Uh, it looks like he's having some internet pr problems as well. Now, something to note here is I have not watched this footage beforehand. I'm as blind as you guys. So I'm basically going to be commentating about what's going to be happening and seeing what I can say about. Now, Andre does tell me that he catches quite a few Pokemon and then checks out the Pokestops and the items and stuff like that. So we'll get an idea of exactly what he's doing. As of right now, he is walking. Isn't this exciting? He's walking. Uh, background from you on Pokemon Go, I'm, it was a cool first trailer, but I'm not super hyped about it. It seems like an interesting idea with not much of a game around it yet. They got the Pokestops, you got the stuff like that. Apparently one of the Pokestops is a Mustang Mirai. Okay. Hey, a Zubat showed up. Of course his first, first Pokemon is a Zubat. Of course, he's not in a cave right now, so that's the way it goes, but... Alright, Andre, lift up your phone. <laughs> Where's the Zubat? Where's the Zubat, Andre? <laughs> You're just sort of playing with your Pokeball right now, it seems like. Oh, he's real. Oh, wow, that's actually kind of cool how he's sort of looking for where the, the Zubat could be. You can see his... Oh, there it is! In the middle of the street. Catch it, Andre! Uh, oh, wow, he actually did hit it. I thought he missed. Alright, can he actually catch it? Yes. Yes, and caught, because of course. So yeah, a Zubat in the middle of the street, go figure. Uh, which gets him some XP for his trainer, and we got it in the Pokedex. Uh, now as stated before, the Pokedex only covers Kanto as of right now. This is a game that's meant to expand as you go along, and uh, that's still the Mustang Mirai, Andre. Um, oh, he's spinning it in order to get items. Looks like he got two Pokeballs and, a, uh, and an egg. Oh, okay, so it turns purple when you've already used it, and now we have the Rattata. I'm still not familiar with what capture points do. I'm guessing that's what CP stands for, but, uh, yeah. Now, one thing that we probably should take a notice of is Andre's battery, uh, because I've heard a lot of reports that this thing has been draining batteries like crazy. Uh, so we'll just keep an eye on it up top there and see what actually happens, but, yeah, he's got himself, uh, a Rattata now, which, boy, that figures for, uh, <laughs> for Pokemon. Alright, our future lies in their dreams. Boy, Andre would be much better for this, for this with these San Francisco li landmarks, but those Pokestops are not exactly what I was expecting. It's almost like that's a poster and just a random car or stuff like that. Um, but then you spin it and get some Pokeballs, so it seems rather random. It's, it'd be curious to see if visiting the same places each day gets you the same items or you get different items each time. Uh, but at the very least, he got experience for doing all that, and as we can see, it looks like we have Doduo, Nidoran, and Krabby nearby as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. But as far as Pokemon Go, obviously, I, I have, well, I have an iPhone, so I can't actually play it yet. I'm waiting for, I guess, its official release in the United States. Andre has ways to do it with, um, with his, uh, Android, and looks like the next Pokestop is a, ooh, wow, all of them. Nidor is that Nidorino? Oh, that's Nidoran. Yeah, it looked like a Nidorino from far away, but... Oh god, get out of the middle of the street! They're, 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 doing, they're gonna get uh, ran over. Actually, I'd be very curious what happened there if, like, uh, if the cars would go through Doduo. But yeah. Seems like decent variety so far. Granted, we've only seen four different Pokémon, but that's still something. So... And each... It looks like the, the reason is you have to catch multiple Pokémon... Oh, there we go, I got a medal. The reason you have to catch multiple Pokemon is for the candy, because you actually need to use that candy as well as some of this, this looks like Stardust, in order, like, uh-oh. Get off the fence, Nidoran. <laughs> ah, bad man, Andre, aim. <laughs> Come on, get some power in there. There you go. You got him. 
get him off the fence. Um, but it looks like you need to catch multiple Pokemon to get uh, the materials that you need in order to evolve that Pokemon. And uh, we can maybe hopefully see a quick look at it here. So yeah, well, you get something called Nidoran Candy. And that's what that you use. So the more po Nidoran you catch, the more you can evolve that uh, Nidoran. So it's kind of interesting. And wow, they, they got a more mural. Okay then. So is, uh, is uh, Andre going to worry about catching the Rattata? He is. Okay, let's see if he actually tries to evolve a Pokemon. Not sure if he's aware of that because he hasn't followed the game that closely. Or at all, probably. <laughs> um, I know he said a lot of his friends are excited about it as well. But uh, we'll see. Alright, so no big thing for him. And it will say, hopefully he'll notice that he can evolve it if he gets to that point. Um, but yeah, he's just walking around San Francisco. Right around his neighborhood, he's been finding a decent amount of stuff and Pokemon. Not too bad. A guiding hand. I didn't realize there was so much artwork around San Francisco. That's kind of uh, interesting. I'm kind of curious what they're going to show in my area. Alright, he got another egg. I wonder if he knows what to do with the eggs. It might just hatch without him realizing it. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as far as more background on Pokemon Go, I the idea has potential, but I'm also just... I don't know, I feel like there needs to be more gameplay to it. I think as a tool, not a tool, but as an encouragement to get out and walk around, it's great. I mean, I've been kind of lapsing on my walks that I've been trying to, to take in order to get uh, exercise and whatnot, and once Pokemon Go it comes out, I'm going to try to start those walks up, up again, see what Pokemon I can get. And I'm also wondering if I should, like, since I can't really record like Andre does while I'm walking around, my laptop is just too huge and I don't have the materials that I need in order to do that sort of thing, I was thinking about just taking screenshots of what I've been encountering and then doing a sort of a discussion type video just by myself, going over my experiences with Go, whether my opinions are changing, whether what I've caught, stuff like that, and, oh, another Rattata. Um, and seeing, you know, my experience. And I don't know if you guys would be interested in something like that or not, but you can always let us know and we can go off of that type of thing. Now I'm curious he's, uh, if he's actually going to get enough to evolve. No, he needs 22 uh, Rattata candy, so he needs to catch quite a few more Rattatas. The thing I wonder about is, what, are the, what does the game do with the extra Rattatas? You just sort of always have them? Oh, okay, he actually put on his incense so we can encounter more Pokemon. Smart. And, hey, he found a gym. But he needs to re Okay, you need to reach level 5 in order to take over a gym. So, let's see if he can actually do that. And, I think there's a Pokemon behind you, Andre. Will he turn around and go get it? <laughs> well, he found some sunflowers. Nope, he just... Actually, no, that's, that's, that's a uh, Pokestop that he already went to. It was purple and a weird shape, so I thought it was a Pokemon. <laughs> Whoops. But, uh... Man, looking at his battery... It, it, you can definitely see it is draining quite quickly. It's actually kind of uh, crazy. So, <laughs> there's been jokes around that the thing that you really want to get with, the, with the, the accessory you need with Pokemon Go is a battery charger, so go figure. Um, it's kind of funny watching him walk because he's just sort of kind of watching it walking in place. I don't know. And I have to imagine walking around in a city is... Kind of dangerous. Fortunately, we know thanks I got thanks to the fact that I got this footage that Andre did not get hit by a car <laughs> while he was walking around searching for Pokemon. A Lynn Mill Millie. Apparently, there's just a lot of interesting artwork around San Francisco. Go figure. Well, it's not that surprising. The problem is, despite the fact that he's gotten yeah, there's all these Pokemon nearby. He hasn't seen any of them, and he even has the incense on. Huh. And that's actually, I'm not sure if it's just, well, it has to be loaded in because there's Poke Stops everywhere. So I have to imagine that, you know, they've got this stuff built in. I'm, I'm actually very curious how it's like, I don't live in a big town at all. I'm curious how that's actually going to go. And, uh, work out from there. And he's too far away from the next Poke Stop, but he'll get there. Oh, jeez. Lady of Darkness. 
That's freaky. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Andre seems to be catching uh, getting levels pretty quickly. I mean, if you get it, you get XP for visiting Pokestops, you get XP for catching Pokemon, and it seems much more like a trainer type thing than anything else. Hmm. But I was trying to think what other stuff to say about Pokemon Go. I'm, I'm very curious about the gym battles because you know this whole thing about you. Uh, holding gyms and joining up with other people because you're automatically assigned to different teams and it's up to you guys to hold the gym and everything else. But yeah, okay, we're gonna check out the item. He has a camera, the egg incubator. Is he putting that to good use or not? Hmm. USCSF Mission Center. Okay. So yeah, we're getting a little bit of a tour of San Francisco at the moment. As you can see, he's kind of in the middle of the city. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess this is just the basic gameplay. I think it's, you know, obviously it's more engaging when you're walking around and doing it yourself and encountering all this stuff because, I mean, okay, look at it like a com if you're more of a completionist type person. Uh, you see all these poke stops all over the place. It's like, oh man, I gotta visit all these places. I gotta see what's there. I gotta see what I'll get, even though it's mostly been Pokeballs. And, it, but it's also just getting the experience, seeing what, 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 what don't I know about in here? All right. Oh, he's, oh, I see what he's doing. He's getting, uh, he got a lucky egg. So, um, he got a lucky egg so he can get more XP, so he can hopefully, hopefully check out the gym battle, or the gyms. And he also got, um, something else? I'm not sure. I kind of missed it. The lore module. Alright. So he has the lucky egg. Huh, and you can't use that module, that Yulore module yet here. Maybe he has to go to the next po uh, Pokestop in order to get it to work. A guiding hand. Huh. It is a bit worrying that so little Pokemon have shown up since that beginning. Like, you got a bunch in the beginning and then nothing. Especially since he's using the incense. Pokemon should be showing up to see him, talk to him. Well, be caught, that sort of thing. And they're not getting lured at all. Or attracted at all. It looks like he's having difficulty using the lore module as well. Fortunately, he will be getting extra experience, so that'll help out. The problem is, again, just no Pokemon. Of course, I do wonder if they just haven't loaded the Pokemon up for the regions. The Pokestops are ready, but the Pokemon aren't quite ready. Maybe that's why it hasn't been released in the U.S. yet. They're just working on it. Crosstown beef, okay. <laughs> kind of looks like Andre's walking in the middle of the street. <laughs> oh boy, let's hope he doesn't get hit by a car. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's very strange how... Okay, well, he got his Crosstown beef again. Ah, eh, four po po Pokeballs this time. Well, here's the thing. You never have to worry about running low on Pokeballs, that's for sure. They give you a ton, as long as you got the Pokestops around you. Uh, that's something I'll compare whenever I get to try out the game for myself. There's still no word yet on when it's getting an official U.S. or international release, as far as I know. Hey, there's a... Uh, oh, it's a gym... It's a uh, gym that has a pincer guarding it, it seems like. We'll see if he actually makes it that far. Not too confident considering the video is getting close to ending relatively soon. Um, but yeah, I'm curious how many Pokestops will be in my area because obviously San Francisco is a big city. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of things. But when they're showing off murals and stuff like that, I have to imagine there's something around my area that can uh, encourage that kind of exploration. Well, they made it. <laughs> I can just imagine Andre's getting frustrated. He's like, where's my Pokemon at? Why am I not catching Pokemon? <laughs> I 
And he has his- oh wait, oh wait, now he's nice! A random Zubat appeared, and once again, it does not- Where is it? Eh, there it is, on top of the car. Protect that guy's car, throw a Pokeball out the window, and on top of it. <laughs> I hear Zubats are kind of tricky to catch just because they are- they fly all over. Man, it's a good thing they do give you so many Pokeballs as often he has to throw it. No wonder we have to make him faint first, they just won't uh, sit still. There we go. Got the Zubat. And let's see. Wow, I need 50 Poke Sweets. Oh, turn around, Andre. There's another Pokemon Pokemon behind you. Another Rattata. With any luck, we can evolve this thing. Alright. Caught it, and I don't think he's going to evolve it because I can see right now we're running out of time. So, yep. Yeah, Rattata was caught, and he got, more, he got more experience. Not too much else there. But yeah, this is just Andre's quick tour of San Francisco to try out Pokemon Go, see what all is around. We didn't get to check out a gym yet, but uh, we'll look into that as we go and uh, see exactly what we have to do. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Pokemon Go and other things gaming as well. Alright guys, bye.